Welcome to this new color grading tutorial where we're going to be creating this desaturated moody type look. This is one that I see very popular amongst YouTubers and it's kind of neat. So let's learn how to do it. Basically what we're doing is desaturating all of our colors except for skin tones, which is those yellows, oranges, reds, those kinds of colors. So. I have a new clip that you can start out with. It's color grading four, if you're following along. I thought this effect in this bright and colorful forest gives a good example of what this is. Next, I'm going to add an adjustment layer on top of it. So just like I said, we're desaturating all the colors except for skin tones. So how do we do that? If you've been following along with the course, you know that we can go under our curves adjustment and down to hue versus saturation. Here we can set points around where most of our skin tones are. If you need to find a specific skin tone, you can take the eyedropper and we can choose, we don't really see her face, but we could choose something like in her hair or even the color of her hat might be a good adjustment to leave color in. So we know it's right around this orange. I'm gonna undo that. I'm just going to set points around there, there like that. And then next to this, I'm gonna take another point and bring it all the way down. And you can see here, we start to get this effect applied pretty well. Now, I don't like removing all of the saturation. I think it starts to look a little bit unrealistic. I mean, it's going to look unrealistic, but it just starts to look bad, in my opinion, if we go all the way down. I just don't like that style. So I like leaving a little bit of color in there. This still does quite a bit to do what we're trying to do. Next, let's add a little bit of contrast with the RGB curves. The original shot was fairly well edited and color correct, the color was good. So depending on what you're filming or what footage you're using, you might have to do a basic correction first. But I'm just adding a little bit of contrast like this with a little bit of an S curve. If you want, sort of a flat look. There's lots of different ways to give you a flat look. We can take the little bottom node at the bottom of the S curve and bring that up along this side. You could also go to the creative tab and bring up the faded film slider. Either way, you're gonna get that sort of faded look or you could bring up the blacks here in your basic slider to get to where you want. Here, I might desaturate everything just a little bit, maybe down to like 90 or 80. If we wanna bring back saturation just in the skin tone, the hat area, we can go back to our curves, back to hue versus saturation. Let's take our eyedropper, select that area, and bring that up. So we're not losing that. If we do want to get rid of more of the green that we see, which is included in this hue versus saturation. Well, you could scooch these points over like this, but you start to get rid of some of the skin tone and color and it starts to look a little splotchy. So I'm gonna undo that. And I'm going to open up HSL secondary. Here, I can take my eyedropper key selector, pick that specific color, and now with this box selected, I can see what's actually being selected. I'm gonna blur out the edges just a little bit. And then which the, with hue, saturation, and luma sliders, we can expand or decrease this to pick more color, more luminance, more exposure, et cetera. And then we can make adjustments to that specific area, which isn't selecting much of her hat and skin tone with these sliders down here, like by desaturating that specific color. So that's a good way if your hue versus luma curve or hue versus saturation curve rather, doesn't get all the specific colors you want. You can go and use an HSL secondary effect to make it even better. But like I said, I like leaving a little bit of color in there so that it doesn't look completely, completely unnatural. But here we have this desaturated look. We can turn this on and off right here. 
And it looks like I was actually applying that effect to the color grading, which is a good thing to note because if we want to move this to the adjustment layer, which we can then apply to other clips, what I'm going to do is cut this Lumetri color effect from the grading clip. So with that selected, with effect controls open, I'm going to command X that effect, control X if you're on a PC, and then go to my adjustment layer and paste it. And now we can see what happens if we apply this to another clip. So let's take our color grading three option, go here, and then just extend this adjustment layer. And that's how we quickly apply color correction to another clip. As we've seen before though, this does a pretty good job, but we do have to pay special attention to the HSL secondary panel when applying your adjustments to a new clip because sometimes it doesn't match as well. But the overall adjustments that we see here actually does quite a good match here. If we take something like our number two, let's see if it does the same. Yeah, pretty good. So that's the moody desaturated look. I hope you understand what we're doing by now with the, this effect and let me know if you have any questions. If you use this style in any of your edits, tag me in your videos, tag me on Instagram, YouTube, wherever. I would love to check it out. Cheers.